Go check out FIFA Coins online for great deals in buying and selling coins on Ultimate Team. Hey guys, Cody Wolf 3 here and welcome to the first ever team of the season pack opening video on my channel for FIFA 13. Anyway, so we'll jump straight into the store and hopefully we will pick up some of them. Team of the season players. Also, there's a very, very good uh, team of the week as well. Uh, Hulk is probably one of the best informs in there along with Cavani as well. Uh, but anyways, we will go straight into the packs. And uh, a lot of you guys will probably be wondering where I've been for the last uh, month or so. And uh, basically, I've been really, really busy uh, between exams and also I went on holidays. Uh, firstly, my exams uh, finished off uh, near the end of April, about uh, I think it was the 25th or 26th I finished them. And uh, they were my end of year uh, university exams, so they were quite important. I had to do a lot of study for them, and I didn't really get around to playing uh, all that much FIFA, which was uh, pretty unfortunate, uh, but hey, uh, I suppose... Uh, university comes first and uh, yeah that's just how uh, that happened and uh, it just so happened that I had a holiday book then immediately after I left on the 29th of April uh, and I left for Valencia which was an absolutely amazing holiday it went for two weeks uh, with my girlfriend I went over actually to visit uh, one of my best mates uh, who is on Erasmus over there so uh, she had a house so she put us up for two weeks all we had to do was actually pay for flights the flights were actually really cheap uh, I think there were 65 return so we didn't have to pay all that much although i did end up spending quite a bit over there uh, on drink even though drink is uh quite uh it's quite um, what, what's the word it's quite cheap that's the word i was looking for it is quite cheap but uh that just means that you end up buying more of it which is uh, pretty unfortunate but i did actually uh, some pretty cool things over there uh, i went to see a valencia uh, game uh, the game which uh, happened about i think it was about a week ago uh, maybe a bit yeah i think it was about a week ago uh, where they played Osasuna, and they ended up winning the four nil which was an absolutely uh, great result for them and uh, it was actually a really really good game there's two sending offs in it as well and we got pretty good tickets. The tickets were actually quite cheap compared to, uh, I suppose, Premier League tickets. Uh, it cost 20 euro uh, per person and three of us went. And uh, even the two girls I went with actually really, really enjoyed the game, which uh, was quite unusual. And uh, probably the coolest bit of my holiday was the fact that uh, we went out that night to a nightclub and we ended up meeting a couple of the players uh, from the Valencian team. Uh, some of you might uh, know them, some of you might not. Uh, you can, I suppose, search them in Ultimate Team or whatever. Uh, but we managed to actually uh, wriggle our way into the VIP. We are so jammy, like, it is ridiculous. Uh, well, first off, it started off as one of my friends who... Uh, who actually lives there, she's on Erasmus, uh, she decided, hey, I'm going to go up and chat to them, and I wasn't that drunk uh, to actually go, you know, chance my arm to try to get in the VIP to go chat to them, but she did, she ended up getting in, and we were just standing there in absolute shock that she was chatting to them, uh, so after about, I suppose, 15 minutes, she was like, oh yeah, yeah, come on in, and uh, we ended up uh, snaking our way into the VIP, uh, me and my girlfriend, and we were just uh, chatting with uh, three Valencian players who were there, and also, uh, obviously they had like their entourage and all their friends and stuff with them, and uh, the three players were Adel Rami, uh, who's a French international. Also, Ali Sissoko, who I don't know if he has any caps, but uh, he starts with Valencia. And uh, also, uh, Tino Costa, who also goes uh, by the name of Alberto uh, Costa, who has a couple of caps actually for Argentina in the last few years. And uh, it was just, it was a really fun night, got to meet them. Uh, two of them spoke uh, French, which is obviously Rami and Sissoko, and uh, Costa spoke Spanish. Uh, but luckily I had a tiny bit of French so I was able to kind of talk to them a little bit uh, and yes yeah, Sissoko was absolutely crazy I mean like uh, the three of the players actually weren't meant to be out that night it was the night after the game and for some reason any picture that was being taken Costa seemed to duck his head and hide even like there was some girls just in the VIP and they were just like uh, someone was taking a picture and he was just in behind and he was like ducking his head and running and it was really I suppose bizarre but uh, I suppose they couldn't have they couldn't be in any pictures uh, for the night uh, if they did end up getting caught or whatever uh, but we in ended up at well that was with Costa and Rami they were kind of Costa was really freaked out about it Rami was like no nah, no nah, I don't want any pictures uh, because you know if I get caught blah 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 but Sissoko was like game for any picture like the dude was absolutely absolutely wasted like uh, they had a big bottle of Belvedere vodka which we ended up uh, drinking uh, with them and uh, yeah Sissoko I got a picture with Sissoko it'll end up uh, I'll post it up on Twitter uh, one of the days uh, but that was pretty cool uh, but uh, yeah uh, my friends were trying to get in pictures 
uh, with Rami and uh, Kossid, mainly just for the fact uh, that they didn't actually want to be in photos, uh, which kind of caused a bit of, I suppose when there was more drink involved, it caused a bit of uh, a scrap, I suppose, because I was taking one photo and uh, I was really drunk at this point because we had a lot of free vodka and Costa was sitting on a seat just further on down and uh, a couple of my friends, well my girlfriend and uh, my friend who I was staying over there with were in a picture with a couple of their, uh, a couple of the footballers mates and I was taking a picture and uh, I kind of turned, uh, Emma who is my friend uh, who lives over there, she said just uh, go and take a picture of Costa like, and she was pointing over to him and I could see him looking at me and he's been avoiding uh, pictures all night. So I turned, I went to go take the picture of him. And in the picture, it's so crazy. We looked at it the next day. He's literally just staring up at the camera in absolute like. He just, it looks like he wants to kill me. And I took a couple more pictures of them. And then I turned the camera again and took a picture. And there, there was a flash on it. So we obviously knew he was he was in the picture. And the two pictures are absolutely hilarious. I'll also post them up on uh, Twitter. Uh, they're actually not, none of them pictures are on my camera. They're on uh, the two girls' cameras. So uh, I'll have to get uh, them off them. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, that happened. And uh, a bit more drink was had. And they also had shisha pipes in the VIP. It was really cool, actually. And... Uh, what happened was, anyways, I went up, uh, I was, well, I was kind of like walking through the VIP at one point, and it was really, it was a really, really small area, it was, uh, it was, it was very small, like, you could literally walk around and, like, chat to everyone within, like, a minute, like, it wasn't, like, a huge big VIP, it was just a certain section of the nightclub, and it was actually one of the coolest nightclubs I've ever been in, uh, but it was, like, on a rooftop terrace, so it was, like, outdoors, but there was, like, a DJ play, it was really cool. Anyways, uh, I went up, and, uh, I was just walking by, and Costa just grabs me by the back of the neck. And he was shouting at me in Spanish, and I was, I, I didn't know what he was saying. Uh, it was like I, I had no no grasp of uh, the the Spanish language, uh, or, and I called over Emma. I was like, Emma, Emma, will you translate what he's trying to say? And then he was basically like uh, saying, Oh, no photography, no photography. And uh, Emma was like, Oh no, we didn't get any pictures of you. We got no pictures at all. And uh, he was really annoyed. He like had the back of my neck, and I was like, I was like telling him like, I don't have any fucking pictures of you. And uh, it got kind of heated, but uh, he just kind of let it go after a while. And uh, I suppose we kind of made up. He, he wasn't too happy, though, but it was kind of funny. And uh, that was that. Uh, ended up uh, saying bye to the other two lads. I was chatting to Rami, actually, for a bit and asking him if he was moving anywhere in the summer. And uh, obviously, he wouldn't give much away to me because, like, I'm just uh, some uh, randy FIFA YouTuber in the nightclub. But... Uh, yeah, he didn't say much, uh, but I did ask him if he was going to move to either Liverpool or Chelsea, and uh, yeah, he said he wouldn't move to either. And uh, Sissoko was just loving life. I mean, he was smoking away, uh, drinking literally from the bottle of vodka. And I'm thinking, like, how does this guy uh, play a professional footballer, yet he just, like, absolutely goes crazy? But uh, I suppose with training and all that, he's able to. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much one of my stories from Valencia. There's so many. There's some really, really crazy stories from it. Some of you probably want to hear it. Some of you don't don't give a flying fuck about anything I'm talking about in this video. I always get the odd comment like, Why the fuck do we want to hear about your personal life? You swear like it's your YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, if I, I might talk about it some more. I might not. But that was obviously the one that... Uh, pertains to football so i thought it'd interest some of you guys but that is it for this pack opening guys this is uh the last of the silver packs uh actually uh yeah this is the last of the silver packs all right guys i will see you all next time don't forget to subscribe and like this video it is always appreciated and peace